Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Nelson, you're watching Nature Nell. If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. I'm so happy you're here with me today because I am going to continue showing you Pam's amazing orchids in bloom. She did such a beautiful job in there. I just finished filming the first part, which is her establishment. But now I am going to give you guys all the vendors that are there with her, plus some extra things that she did in her uh, greenhouses that I think are really, really spectacular and very well deserving to showcase on my channel. So I'm gonna do this second part, just the vendors and a couple of little things here and there. I hope you enjoyed this segment. See you inside. All right, my friends, so let's now start with the vendors. And I wanna start with Wendy, my camera woman today. <laughs> so Wendy is known for her beautiful I always forget how to call these topiaries. Your topiaries. topiaries. Your topiaries and your pots, which I love these. These work great. You want to explain a little bit of how they work? Sure. Uh, soft watering pots, you just fill up the um, the reservoir. It's made out of glass. Don't fill too much because when you put your pot, you don't want it to overflow. But you'll put in your pot here. It will start to absorb the water. It should last you about two weeks. And as soon as you see that the water level is coming down, then you know it's time to refill. Okay. I like it because it takes so much work away from you. It does. So if you don't have a lot of time on your hands to water your indoor plants, this is a great solution. Or if you have to travel or anything like that, that would help with that. When I see these, you know what I, I don't know why I think of, I think they would be great for that. Especially these little ones, herb grown to grow herbs. You can. Like yeah. basil, cilantro. I actually, I actually got these because I got a request from some customers that they wanted to grow their African vibrates. Yes, yes. Well, you know this is how I keep my African vibe. Oh my God, you just gave me. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that was. <laughs> I'm going reason through a lot of things in my head. Carrying the smaller. You know that I take the terracotta pot and I put it in another pot that has that sealed okay. underneath, and that's exactly what I so do. So it's just yeah. I just realized I'm doing what you're selling. Yeah. So maybe I should just get. The only difference is that since you have glass, you can see when the water actually starts to come down the levels. I really like these, and you know what? separate three from them. I'm gonna buy three from this. Because I have three <laughs> I had three African violets that I've had for years and they're like at the at the point where I gotta repot them. That's perfect. That's perfect. Oh my god. I it's like right now you you gave me exactly the solution because I am a slave <laughs> to those Africans. See what happened right on camera. <laughs> and guys I was not planned. No one <laughs> so I don't know I like the black one. Okay. Do you think I should mix match? You can because these are the three colors. Let's I see have. the three colors. Great. So yeah, it'll look you're pretty. Because this actually was the last <gasps> black one I had. Okay, I'll do all three colors. Okay. It'll look pretty on my window. It will so. look pretty. See? Plus, plus. And then you got these great gift baskets that are. I, I really like these, like for kids. This to get them to, to get, garden. To, to get people into, or even. Well, this one's focused more on orchids, this one's more on gardening. So this one's great for somebody that's like they they're interested they want to you know they want to get into orchids and they don't know what to get so this has everything they don't need to think about it it has a mount it has the clay pot it has a rhizome clip it has fertilizer it has gloves it has this shears like the steak, gift basket. <laughs> clips i mean everything you would need it's there all you have to do is just go pick out your plant oh my god and 30 bucks and you get all that you get everything Ooh. everything is there your bark is in there too that's a great deal wendy so this is great to get other people. I hope you're into. making money off of it <laughs> because this is a lot of merchandise for 30 bucks. That's really good, actually. Yeah. I didn't realize how much stuff you had in there, especially oh. that wood mount. Yeah, the wood mount. And then this one here, it's this, for the flowers. This right? one's more like wildflowers. It's more like a little garden. Oh, so you cute. have your little you... shovel, your rake, you have your um, pots, you have your flowers. And it comes seeds, with this beautiful little hummingbird, little hummingbird garden steak. Uh, steak. And it does bring shears too. And then here are your beautiful topiaries we were just talking about. These are the topiaries. Um, and, and, and this is something I've been talking to a lot of my customers. You don't have to necessarily, if you don't want to grow this type of plants, you can put other stuff on here, guys. You can put your herbs on here. We're saying mini fowls. 
we might test out mini fowls. Nelson did give me that as an idea that we can try. So, just, you know, it, there's many things that you can use them for. So I'm It would be so cute. Like to have a, a little doggy or a cat like yeah, this and then look, put little fowls everywhere. Oh my God. God. Or if you want to do a, um, another one that I'm going to look into doing is like a, a mince. So you can just grab a couple leaves. You can put it in your tea. Herbs. Or Again, we go back to the herbs. herbs. I like and, it. You know, so it's purposeful Lewis well. would love that he's the herb guy he loves planting herbs and then here of course your sconces your great great rustic sconces that I love so much you can put beautiful orchids on this I love these I have my uh, my queen on here my green flash on one of these but it's a lot bigger yeah on her throne so I love these like to put a special you know that special orchid all right, Wendy, I got a lot of people to you cover. You too. Thank you for passing by. You're welcome. Thank you. And make sure you save those three. All right, guys, this one's called, hold on, let me grab you right here. Now, this gentleman, I was told he carries a bunch of orchids that are normally uncommon. You know, here's his card. And here is his, just point your phone at this or call this and he can get you all those hard to find orchids like this one right here this is a uh, Yolofia memoria alexis parda thank you it is beautiful it's I, super first, easy to grow too really how uh what's um it's Yolofia ganensis which is a beautiful pink one that a lot of people want uh crossed with a kind of drab one a little Yolofia andamanensis okay and this grows much like a catechetum so dry winter rest they, really like they, a catechetum oh they i see sleep yes, just yes. like that all winter so okay this is about six months wow they don't need a drop of winter uh drop of water over the winter in the springtime they wake up and bloom and then you i love i love this is a spike right uh or is that an actual this is growth? a new growth this is the spike that comes oh, up beside okay. it okay because it looks be, you know the kaisies you know the kaisies yes i do the spike grows like that it comes yeah. out and it all I, I used to think it was a growth and then you see the actual flower coming out so I these do a the lot same. like a sort of podium so the growth comes out and right beside it the spike comes out and pushes out past the new growth oh okay sort of like a bias is it like the fire should know the bias is, is it's like the yes, nuns or yes, like that right yes because yes. it sounded like more that, more yeah. or less like that i need to get a better close look here up close and personal <laughs> it's a beautiful flower it is and this is just one of many galopias it's really pretty that's kind of one of my uh i guess you could call it an obsession <laughs> i think that's all our <laughs> i started i started collecting galopias um particularly the ones from Africa that are seasonally dormant like that. Uh -huh. uh, I have one called Elephant Peter's Eye. A lot of people who grow succulents have it. They call it the desert orchid. Okay. So it grows about 24 inches tall. It has thick serrated leaves on it. They're really hard. But when it blooms, few people bloom it because huh. it also needs a very dry winter rest. When it blooms, it blooms 12 feet tall. Oh my God. Spectacular. You need, you need the space for that. Yeah. Now, I was looking at these here. These are all bubble films yes so that's what my whole business is about so i i bring in things that you can't get anywhere else okay i spend the time and energy to chase them down figure out the importing where a lot of other big nurseries don't have time to figure out if it's difficult well and i, I never take no for an answer and i'll tell you something <laughs> right now the orchid world has become very refined like collectors right now, it's not just about the fowls and the dendrobiums. Right. That this is what they're looking for. You will never see a phalaenopsis in, <laughs> in your booth. Yeah, you're one of those no fowls. Yeah, dendrobiums. Yes, I'm working on bringing some black. Dendrobium, Good for you. The black antelope dendrobiums. No, 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 no. Wait. She told me you were gonna die when I told you. I want like ten of those. <laughs> okay. I've got I've got black dendrobiums coming. I'm also working on the splash varieties from Vietnam. Oh, that are I love the splash variety. She told me to show you pictures. She said you would probably die. Please so. show me. <laughs> uh, is that what I think it is? All the film graviolins. These gra they're they're very pretty, but let's just stay this distance <laughs> because I don't want to get any closer. Not, than I that. call it a delightful stink. Yeah, it's, it's a really beautiful not, flower. It's really not bad. It's really? Not really? Bad. Mm -hmm. Mine is mine is pretty I dare large. You. Actually, I dare. Yeah. You. I dare I, you. you know, I dare myself to a lot of these. I dare I'm one so. of those people that likes to uh, go right ahead. Oh my God. 
<laughs> it's like dirty clothes with a rat, dead rat in it. I don't know. It smells so, quartzy, like a I dead got two for baby diaper. Baby diaper, yeah, yeah. Actually, I think uh, baby I diapers are worse. <laughs> sweaty socks. Yes, that's that's the dampy clothes I was talking about. Yeah. It's but it's a beautiful flower. Look, this, look at the size of this. I can't wait for mine to bloom. Mine has gotten huge, but no inflorescence, nothing. And yeah. I see you have a second one here too. Yeah, second flower spike. <laughs> wow. And these develop fast. And how much this is a sample, but the what sample. would you sell these? Uh, for? I had I, Pam has already snatched these up. <laughs> but I had a couple that I brought in, uh, 80 and 75. And 75? I'm telling you, and this 80. is they are they are up there because when I, I got mine, I paid seventy five for this smaller than this. That, I paid seventy five for mine, so yeah, they their prices don't go down that much, yeah, yeah. and it's such a unique type of bulb of filum. Now this one, that's really pretty. This is bulbophyllum phylum udentani, and wow. this is graviolens crossed with phalaenopsis. Really? Mm -hmm. And the the umbel of flowers on that is that's this right here. That's this one. The, these little bulbs. These bulbs. Yeah. Oh my God! Look and that'll get a big leaf like a like a phalaenopsis. But is leaf. it is it bubble film phalaenopsis? Yes. Okay. All right. Bubble film phalaenopsis crossed with bubble film uh, graviolens. Very cool. I'm sure it smells yeah, delightful. It does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> that bubble film uh, phalaenopsis is that's a dead rat. That when is mine bloomed, it's like yes. I go in the room, I'm like, oh. just like the Wilbur Chang. Yes. Uh, you saw the Roxasa? No, but please take right me here. Take this me through. Is very, very. Cool oh, item. this. Yes, I was looking at the leaf. This is a spectacular. What is this? Right, so look at the look at the flowers. Ah, it looks. Wait a minute. I was gonna say it looks a little bit like the Phalaenopsis, but no. It's Phalaenopsis crossed with Bacarii. <sighs> It has the color. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's beautiful. So, and the flowers can vary from an ox blood to almost scarlet. Ooh, I like that. And can you see the, the I, name? Yeah, because it's called rock sauce. Now you have these for sale? I will. Yeah, I'm, I'm importing these directly from Asia, Southeast Asia. I mean, I like that you have stuff that no one, you don't, no you don't one in the US see. Has I've, this. I've never seen this. This no person, one in the US has it. Really, really not nice. to my knowledge. Let's just say not to my knowledge. But I and it's know. and it's a pretty big. Yeah, the flower um, spike is. It's pretty massive. Eight, ten, twelve inches. Wow. And this, tell me, this looks like a grammatophyllum. It is. It is. Why is yeah. it so dense in tone? This is a variety called crown fox leopard, and it's one of the less common hybrids. You know, somebody gave me one as a gift and told me this is a very rare grammatophyllum and yeah. i think it's this it's never blue this is one of, yeah this is one of those maybe this is the one most folks are familiar with like the the elegans and the scriptum uh -huh. and the spots, and the, right? yeah, yeah, the little the spots. spots but this is one that you can't find very often and it's a beautiful look at that size it's really pretty how much does this go for they're 85. that's not bad nope that's not bad at all for that size it's really nice all right, sir, I got to cover more people, but thank you for Thank you so much. We appreciate time. it. Pleasure to meet Great you. Great to see you. Welcome aboard. Thank you. <laughs> now let's go to my friend over there. Look at her. She's fixing herself. We have a date at the salon next week. I'm doing her hair. So she's like telling me, I, I need you to color my hair so I don't have to wear hats anymore. <laughs> so she's very concentrated. <laughs> I like to catch you off guard. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> I am trying you to were clean, clean the You were fixing your hair. I go, she has a date with me <laughs> next week or in two weeks. Oh, yes. I am seeing lots of new things here like this. Oh, what yes. is this? This is so cute. It's the water jasmine. That's a it's, water jasmine? Yeah. It smells oh. Oh, amazing. Oh, my God. It smells so good. It's so oh. pretty. Full sun, eh? It's a whole full sun. It's a full sun, but not in the in the middle of the day. You okay, know, that, so semi sun and shade, yeah. Full sun. Like I have a, a, a Arabian jasmine, uh -huh. and it's like that. It gets sun, but then in the midday it gets shade, yeah. and then it gets sun again. So I see you have your wonderful koki koki damas here. I always say koki moss, but that's the name of your company. <laughs> koki damas. Yeah. And so beautiful displayed the way that that 
Uh, it's perfection. I try my best. I appreciate this so much. <laughs> today, be more. More. You guys knew I was coming, so you did a little extra. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, no. You're like, it's going to be on film. <laughs> you know, all the time I bring something different and I try to do something different. I love this. I love this setup. Because it gives you an idea for the customers how to put in your house. And I did for a customer uh, uh, three weeks ago, the wall on the entering of the house. Like with, this? With this. Oh, how beautiful. With the same material. Yeah, you guys you guys can order levels. this. Uh, did you get this on Amazon? No, I get from the store in Miami. Oh, the storage, the display you, you store? Have a store? Yeah, display storage. If you storage can give me the information, I give it to and you I'll put it here on my description box, and because a lot of people like to buy these, and oh, they yeah. don't know. You can get them on Amazon. They're called display grid wall oh, grids. Oh, but there is very... Very expensive. Expensive, yeah. and, and this place is very cheap. It's in Doral. Oh, then you have S and S and M or S and S and S. I think it is a brothers something. Oh, I don't remember okay. The You're name. gonna have to give me the name. No, I'm going to give you the information. This is so cute, Gabby. Have a little baby. Little baby. That's adorable. I love these. They all look. Oh my God! Look at this. How beautiful. A wall sconce. Yeah. Oh, that one is. Um, oh, that is gorgeous. <laughs> Philodendron? Philodendron. I love that it's red on the back. It's so yes. pretty. It's very, very pretty. That's very nice. And then I have... Oh, you got the, um, the fur from Brazil. Oh, yes. I have that really big. <laughs> I know. His grow a lot. Those, I love those. We used to have them here in Florida. You don't see them anymore. No, it's difficult to find. Very and of course... <laughs> You, you, my little mini maxillaria. Yeah. Look, she has more guys. This, oh, yeah. I got this from my uh, from Gabriela for my birthday last week, and mm. I love it. She's ah, but that one is not your gift. What do you mean it's not my gift? It's in Miami. Oh, I, I get another gift. You're well, spoiling yes, me. When, when <laughs> I when I coming, I am very stressful because I coming just in the moment of the the heavy traffic. Trust me, I we were all in that truck. Please forget. <laughs> Don't worry, Gabriela. Look, you always give this. me stuff. Que lindo está eso. Someday I will have this under my tree. I've been planning to put one under my tree and let it grow up. Oh, and just make it. You know, okay, it's get going massive. to be. And then you can just take cuttings. Yes. <laughs> and sell yes. them. <laughs> yes, que lindo yes. está esto. Wow, it's amazing. Muy chic, muy elegante. <laughs> she has a Aww. hair already for years. Really? When I plant in hair, it's only this one. Are you one. serious? Yeah, it's only this one. This is the reason can I bring hair. It's only this one. And in the between of the years is coming this one, this one, and this. It's like a little environment. And now is coming a lot of babies around and look you you're see, gonna have to re when, remoss it no, no i am not going to do you're gonna let it grow all out i'm going to let it like that because you see how much baby that would there. look that would look great if all the roots came out and then that has water exactly. mm. yes this is the reason i live in like that and if if someone buy I'm going to tell the person to do that. I love it. I think because it's beautiful. You see, four ears and how many babies around. All these little tiny babies. Look, it's still sprouting here. Uh huh. Impressive. And that esto? one, ¿Qué es esto? 20 years old. This is it's 20 a years old? This is a rose. Beautiful. But she have a 20 years. Wow, you've had her 20 it's for years? Sale or she... too. No, I have her You're for 20 selling years. Her? She's so I'm beautiful. How much are you her? selling her for? 1200 Okay, pack it up for me. I'm going to take it to my house. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at me like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> no. she, you're probably thinking, have you spoken to Lewis about this? <laughs> is he aware? Yeah. It's gorgeous. That, you see how that beautiful. is beautiful. The and thing I, is, I bring this time because she's full of flowers and it's still coming. Ah, 
more. You know what I'm The thing with, with bonsais is that it takes so long to get them to that size. People don't understand the care that goes it's, behind it's that. Better, it's better by this size because yeah, you need to it. sit down one way for I mean, so I've been growing. Long. I've been growing my bonsais for years that I made and they're not even this size yet. So well, that goes to show you that when you're growing something like this, it's years of maintenance and, yeah. and care. Anyways, Gabriela, I have a lot of people to cover today. Yes, <laughs> so I'm, yes. I'm doing drive-bys. I know, Thank I you, know. my love. Thank you so much. I love you, you know that. And I love you too, and you and know happy it. happy birthday again. Thank you. <laughs> now these guys, I don't, uh, it's called Botanical Light. And it really caught my eye when I came in because this gentleman, from what I heard, I haven't spoken to him, he gets these, um, he collects these out in nature, these driftwoods, and he uses them for all these beautiful designs. I mean, look at this. This is 200 and 140 bucks, this whole massive piece. I would love to put this like in an aquarium. So if you guys love driftwood and you love these arrangements, Botanical light landscape and design. I don't have a number or a card, but you guys can Google it and I'm sure you will find it. Now here we have the gangster of all gangsters. <laughs> Mr. C. You know why you're a gangster? Because everywhere I go, you're there. <laughs> you're like the boss. You're always like overlooking everything. I'm like, how do you how do you make it everywhere? I'm everywhere. <laughs> Oh, and I was looking at these bandas. This is ridiculous. I mean, where are you getting these things? Where the, what was a really big one? It's so tall. No! I wanted to get that on film. Oh my God. It was that, taller than me. Yeah, it's the 12 foot. Damn. Well, anyways, let's look at this one. Mark, uh, Mark got it. It's from Bolivia. They drive all the way to Bolivia from Bolivia. Wow. How much did you sell that for? Can I ask? 900. How much? 900. Yeah. I figured it was so big. I, I haven't seen a vandal like that. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it so big. And I only see you carrying those. Yeah, I haven't seen yeah. anyone carrying those old, old, old. Old, old no. uh, this, there's, there's one guy, uh, I think. Uh, this is my new obsession, the Sherry Apes. I heard they're Sherry, fragrant. Yeah. Is that true? Because I, I don't are. smell it. But somebody told me, smell them, they're fragrant at a certain time of day. Yeah. Maybe at night. Night or early in the morning. This is really cool, see. What is this? What kind of dendrobium is this? Osteoglossum. Ophioglossum, varied album. Capitulioforum, cross with self. Kazuna. Very nice. And here you have your species, which I love. See, you know what you need to start doing? Look at me, you need to, like if I own your business. Let me give you a suggestion. <laughs> you know how you have this here? Yeah. You should do it for your species. Because I think it would, it, especially when I record, it gives the viewer an idea exactly what you're selling. Because okay. I thought about that last time. See how this is very effective? You can show, okay, this is this. That way they know. Because if, if you show this, people don't really see what the flower is. And I think in a selling point, it would be very effective. Because I find that your species are amazing. You need to really, really push that. Because not a lot of people are pushing species. Yeah, yeah. It's a, and it's a, and it's, a, it's a big thing. A lot of people only collect species. Yeah, most, most of them. So I, I, I love the fact that you carry them. That's yeah, why I always I like always to showcase them. I carry species of dendrobiums and some of those... Uh, all the ones yeah. I got from you are doing so good. That yeah, and they're okay. strong. Now, what is this that I looked? I know it's not an orchid, but it's the uh, Medanila Gregory from Bali. It's from Bali? From Bali. Oh, Hambali. 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 It's a uh, species of Medanila native to uh, Southeast Asia. Ooh, but, um, yeah, it's, I think it's from Papua New Guinea, Philippines, so cool. Indonesia. And the flowers just on the uh, leaf stem. That's amazing. It, it reminds me there's um, a fruit in Brazil called uh, Buchicaba or Chabuchicaba. It's, yes. it's a weird name and it grows like that. It's a great fruit. Yep. And then these are beautiful. I love these. Pandora. Is it Pandu or Pandorata? Pandorata. It's just that when are they going to go down in price? <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere I go, you're selling them at a great price. Everywhere I go, they're so expensive. But it has such a beautiful flower. 
And it's big. This is fragrant too, right? These are fragrant? Yeah, yeah. Very nice. All right, Mr. C. I am doing I am doing quick drive-bys. I know I normally camp out, but <gasps> wait a minute. Happy birthday again. Sorry guys that the fans are on. They have to have them on. It's, it started to get really hot. Florida's like that. It's cold in the morning and then hot in the afternoon. So I hope you guys can hear. That is beautiful. Now this is what I was talking. This is one of the small ones, but look at the size of them. Sold to Mark Polyak. Mark is a very lucky man. Yeah, he, he is the one who got the... Uh, oh, he got the other one? Yeah. The big one? He forgot it. He, he bought I like the shirt. two of those. He very nice. Two of those and he forgot the other one. Who made your shirts? Uh, a friend of mine. I just ordered from them. I may talk to you about that. Okay. I want to do some shirts. Yes. You are the third one to ask about it. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's really pretty. You should sell them. Uh, that's what Mark told me. Yeah, they're very pretty. I would wear it at the shows and you get free advertising. <laughs> These are beautiful. Okay. I may come back to this because I'm looking for Talunias. All right, Mr. C. Thank you, buddy. And now we're going to Second Sun Exotics. <laughs> Pretty good. How you doing? Good. How you been? Good. I want to just show some my viewers some of your beautiful carnivorous cool. plants. Thanks. I didn't realize the radio was playing. I'm glad they just turned. Oh, yeah. I just realized that it's awesome. You know, I don't realize it until I'm editing and I'm like, oh, and then I have to cut it all out. <laughs> right. So tell me a little bit about your your um, carnivorous plants. Yeah, Are you a grower or, or do you collect I, them? I grow. I've been growing for like 35 years. And but some of them are from wholesalers, but a lot of them I do like these. I these I grew from seed. Okay. Oh, so you're growing from seed, direct? Oh, yeah, okay. seed and cuttings. These are all from cuttings. All of these are the, the pitcher ones. Yeah, the Nepenthes pitcher plants. Um, so all Nepenthes could be grown through cuttings? Yeah. Oh, I didn't pretty, know that. I mean, pretty much, yeah. All Which, by the way, guys, this is what Nepenthes are, they're the pitcher plants. Yeah, they're, they're, they're from Southeast Asia. So people call them tropical pitcher plants. They're beautiful, and I love them. What, what's this one called? I know there's... That one's Miranda. Miranda. So it's a hybrid between Maxima, which gets it the red speckles, and Northiana, which gives it the size. Okay, because this is the one I have. I have this one, but then I got from you the small... More like that. The one that's kind of like like the little... Yeah, yeah. like that. The little, little, little chubby ones. <laughs> I love them. I am a sucker for carnivorous plants in general. They're so cool. I mean, my favorite orchids are bulbophyllum and papillopetalums because they look like carnivorous plants. Oh yeah, they got the little pouch. They have the pouch. So every time I see them, I go, you know, they remind me so much of the Venus, like the Venus flytrap, the sundew, the pitcher plants. You look at orchids and there's some, these are beautiful. My eye keeps going here. I'm talking to you. I mean, oh, yeah, the Venus flytraps. But that's a very, like, yeah, these, I work with the wholesaler. I, like, help out with all the carnivorous plants. And we put these all under uh, grow lights. These really oh, bright. Oh, right? they do really go and grow lights. Yeah, we keep them from going, going into dormancy. So they, when you get them under really bright light, um, even under, you know, bright grow light, you get the really red inside of the trap. Ah, so that's how you get the red. Yeah, the I always light, wonder. The more, the more red they get. Because, I mean, these, I've seen some that are like these. Yeah, those, that are super red. Those are called red piranha. It's like a different cultivar, so you can see like the little uh, the teeth. Oh, of the, yeah. Of the, of the I trap. love it. They're like short. It's like a so, saw. Yeah, like a saw. So they call that. One of those, uh, what are they called? Um, is it blade saw? The ones that are circular? Oh, they're like a circular saw. Yeah, yeah it yeah, looks just teeth. like that. Yep. And then that's a Ceracenia. That's uh, I think it's called maroon. It's a it's a common one that uh, hybrid. I that's love a, that one's from the. I love that it's blooming. Yeah, I didn't cut them off. I mean, some people cut them off. No, don't. But if they get a lot of light, they they have no problem with the. You can keep them. Are you ready? Yeah. Cool. All right, guys, let's go to the next one. Thank you. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Nelson. Right? Yes. Yeah, I gotta find your web, your YouTube channel. I'll I'll give it. It's Nature Now. Nature now. Yeah, my okay. name cut in half. Very okay. easy. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, guys. Now here is. She was at Wellington, and she also does uh, 3D printing. And here's a fun example of 3D printing. 
Is that not beautiful? I'm trying to see if I can catch it. And these are all her pops. It's a kaleidoscope of colors. Kind of laid up today. Yeah? yeah. Oh, what happened? Just a foot surgery. I've had foot surgery. Just. Just. I had um, I had foot surgery about three, four years ago, right yeah. before the pandemic. This is my toes. Sorry, my hand My toes. I have nine screws on one. They do these new things now. Yeah? Yeah, let me show you. Well, hold oh, on yeah. because we don't want to show that. <laughs> I don't think my viewers want to see video. your surgery. <laughs> We get too comfortable. And this is my, you know, she's my co-host. She was my co-host oh, at Wellington. Fallon is amazing. She was awesome. She helped me. She guided me through the entrance and told me what they had. So I appreciate that very much. She's so sweet. <laughs> That's pretty. So guys, these 3D pots are all made specifically for orchids. And remember what I told you, you want to get stuff that has holes like this because they love, the roots love to stick out of the pots. And I find that to be very, very characteristic of, of the whole thing when you see the roots. Look how pretty this is. These are sconces. And she has them in matte color. If you guys are not into the shiny colors, Notice I gravitate the to the green. <laughs> and she makes these cute little Buddhas. This is not adorable. Look at this, how cool, guys. It's so cute. Now, let me get the card so you, if you guys want to give her a call. And then here is. So you guys can go on Instagram and, and check out all her um all her goodies on Instagram. But I am fascinated by this machine. And and by the way, this is how it is. It's like um it's made out of a corn, I believe it's a Sorry guys. <laughs> that music came off. That scared me. I thought I touched something. <laughs> so anyways, it starts with a filament like this. And then they come in different rolls, like some of them come in different colors, and then this one is a solid uh, metallic. So what it does, it, it pretty much melts it, and the, the, the actual needle or nose of it will start creating the um, figurine in 3D going upwards until it finishes. And it takes forever to finish one. So just know that when they're printing these, each one that they print, he said he's gonna need help. how long would this take from beginning to end on here? What is the the the, the, the time frame? The mini size, or any size, just an this idea. This takes about six hours. Six hours. That's what I was saying. And that then it, it about doubles, so 12, 24. So I was telling guys, you know, it but takes a long time, even though you're not very, doing it. They're thick. Oh, and this is corn based, right? Yes. Yeah. So it's uh, corn. It's basically corn starch, and this is so a called silk, and it's got silk and corn starch. Ooh, in it. nice. And it breaks down. It's so it does it good. Yeah, we want that. We don't want any more plastic on this. We you have plenty of plastic. Start with a small size, and when it all grows out, you don't have to, you know, try to get it out. You can just go. Put Place one on top of the other. Yep, and just stack them. You know that that's the best way to repot your orchids that have been highly established because you don't tamper you with don't the roots. You don't want to do that. And I tried to take an orchid out of a pot one oh. time, and I just felt like no. I was. No, no, it's too. It's too. To me, it's abuse. Yeah. To try to do that, so I love I the idea. You, you make different sizes, so you have that option. And you can change, you know, like, oh, I don't want this color anymore. You can put a different and, color, exactly. Know. I That would be me. I would be doing this. Right. Like, this is gorgeous. I love this. Thank you. Like, I can see this. <sighs> it's so pretty. But a lot of people want, like, for their bathroom. Oh, got, you yeah. Know, I only have a little spot that needs to be... Perfect. You know, so you know, it's always that one that one spot that you say, What am I gonna put there? Right. Where am I gonna find that piece? So we try to take in what people what we hear people saying that they want or they need because we design everything ourselves. So, you know. I love it. It's so colorful and happy. Try to incorporate these what are super needs cool. Are. The <laughs> these are so much fun. Yeah, you can put an air plant in it. I like that you can put a business card and you can on it. 
I mean, that's super clever. I have some that have some succulents in it. They do fine. So easy. I love it. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Nice to see you again. You. Now let's go here where there's more supplies. Guys, if you guys need supplies, all these shows, I'm in the wrong spot, all these shows usually come with one or two supply companies. So it's the best place to actually get your supplies. Why do I say that? Because if you buy an orchid right now and you want to buy your supplies and you don't know what that orchid needs, well, you come here and you say, okay, I have this orchid. How do I keep it healthy? And they know exactly what you can use. Also, if you want to replant it or repot it, you have all kinds of clips, hangers, wood mounts, plastic pots, stakes. I mean, these, these are great to have a bunch of them always because, you know, when you're... Um, orchid spike you want to keep those spikes in check and also the prices in the shows are not going to kill you i mean a 10 inch wooden crate like this for 850 it's very reasonable you know and it'll make your orchid look absolutely beautiful an eight dollar item that makes your orchid look even more expensive and last but not least on this side <laughs> we have the central florida orchid society which i am a big I don't belong to any societies because not because I don't want to. I used to belong to so many clubs. I just don't have the time. <laughs> yeah. But I truly, truly enforce people in the orchid world. This is the best place to go if you want to make friends, like-minded friends, and to learn about orchids and to learn about all the shows right. and everything that's coming. All the so orchid culture, how to grow everything, and get your inexpensive plants on the raffle table. Especially and, that part. Yeah. Well, and then if you don't know how to grow something and you're trying out something, you can get it inexpensively and, and and the thing is you have access to information all the yeah, time all the time you know which is great so show me good show me speakers. a couple of things good speakers eggs you know that's the best part the speakers <laughs> yeah that's great i love speakers because that's where you learn a lot you no know, we, we show people that like you know at the aos you can download these um culture sheets for free mm. i mean you don't have to be a member and download them and learn how to grow your different plants. You know, I you know, like the basics. way you put it on a... Because I have these sheets, but I yeah, have them in, in a, a, a manila, manila envelope. But yeah. this is way better organized. So that's kind of cool. And that's just mm -hmm. membership information. And this is like the AOS Orchid Magazine, which everybody... Sorry, my cut finger. It's okay. Um, <laughs> we're, we're gardeners here. We all yeah. have... I mean, look at Gardening my hands. are so injury. dry from... Look at this, guys. <laughs> these are all chemical burns. It's <laughs> like, always, oh, gardening I injury. should be wearing gloves, right? <laughs> <laughs> I do wear gloves a lot, but every now and then when you're in a rush, you're like oh it's just this one thing and that's when you get hurt <laughs> now how does your club work what would be like the annual fees if you wanted to become yeah, yeah. a member i think it's 30 right so it's 30 30 bucks i mean for a whole and year we come have on like a culture club that meets once uh once a month also where you go and learn specifically culture of different kinds of plants yeah. whether it's like cattleyas or vandas or whatever and usually where you know repotting and everybody would like repot a little plant or everyone would mount a little plant or something like that and it really helps people learn how to do that. And um, then the regular meetings, we usually have speakers. Um, so like this, this Monday, this coming Monday, we have Art Chadwick coming and he's talking about big cat leos and that'll be awesome. And, um, so you, you get to learn a lot, see a lot of different speakers. Uh, the speakers usually bring, they bring plants for sale usually also. So you, you know, if Fred Clark is coming, you can get, get your catechetums right there. Right, that is a big you know, plus. You don't and have I, to ship them. I know, you know Lady Vanda? <laughs> mm -hmm. When they do, they do a lot of talks in orchid societies. And they yeah. always take a huge, like, clothes hanger thing with full, and yeah. they do raffles and giveaways. Yeah, yeah it's great. And you, it's, know, you can, like, pre-order plants And pre-order plants, and, you know, and then right then and there, yeah, ask great. all the questions, because they're right there. Ask all the questions. So See, people don't, great. that's why I tell people, you don't know the value of an orchid. If you're an orchid collector or any kind of hobby, join the societies. Yeah, I that's mean, where you're going to learn. Some people come just to just for the food table, you know. Or just to like, hang out and just to listen, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like And they, you know, people bring in their plants that they, you know, maybe don't Maybe they decided they don't like the drums anymore, you know? And, and then they, they put them on the side of an auction table. I or, always know, when whatever. I go to big shows and they have like the Orchid Society booth. I like to buy the plants here because not only am I are you helping the society, right. you know, you get really cool stuff from collectors that are aged. Yeah. And I bought an, uh, an Encyclia last year at West Palm Beach Orchid Society at the, um, 
Mount Gardens uh, show. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. I was walking with it in was several. It like a specimen size? Yeah, yeah. it was be not really a specimen size. The flower itself was absolutely stunning. It's, on, it's in spike right now. As soon as I'm walking out, one of the members sees me. He goes, Can I see that flower? And he tells me, You need to enter that. He said, That flower will win you prizes. And I knew it. I don't know much about judging but you look at it and you say you wow tell. that's yeah. a very different so i'm excited about that and i got it from the west palm beach orchid yeah, society yeah. well you know a lot of the collectors in the club they they have what? large specimen plants they've been doing it for a long time and um, a lot of them run out of room they move out <laughs> oh and here i'll plug the show plug it please we need we June. need yeah. first and this. second and that's going to be right here in um that is here in Orlando. in Orlando. Are we at the Armory? We're yes, the Armory. we're at the Armory. Okay. <laughs> Orlando holds a lot of orchid stuff. Yeah. I'm always seeing like... Bring your kids. We have a little scavenger hunt. That is awesome. Family oriented. <laughs> you know, but uh, lots orchids and lots of Orchids and family oriented go yeah, hand in hand, right? Anyways, yeah. That awesome. is awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. I'm glad you guys are here and I was able to cover you guys. Because yeah. I've been talking... This whole week I've been talking about... You guys need to... Because I've had several viewers ask me, where can I meet people that I can go shopping with, oh, like yeah. you do? And I'm oh like, Orchid God. Society, that's Wait, where you're going to, where else are you going to? I'm sitting right here waiting for me to like go spend way too much money. Right? <laughs> I just spent way too much money. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's not spending money. That's medicine for the soul. That's therapy. <laughs> therapy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I see food is being served. I can, oh, and she does, she never like never cuts it short, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go to the other side. Now, I see that I'm already at 41 minutes. So this is going to be a separate video. It's going to be a two-part video. Actually, it's going to be three-part because there's a lot of things here I want. And I'm going to be doing a pretty big haul. <laughs> so, um, my God, look at the lines. You see how crazy it gets? Now, this is the other side where they have these beautiful displays. Pam went display crazy this, this time around, and I appreciate that so much. So Pam, don't ever stop doing this. This is what makes your sh your events stand apart from everybody else's. You took the time to put a beautiful display together. And these displays, they, they're, they take time. You gotta really hand select the better of all the orchids to make sure you showcase, you know, your your best stuff when you go to a nice gala you're gonna wear your best outfit you're not gonna wear something mediocre i saw these kinji anums remember i was saying are these kinji anums look what they are <laughs> amana lake prison but look how beautiful the size of this is and it already comes potent. it's really pretty now um pam also sells a lot of supplies this is her section, one of her sections of supplies. So you can get mediums, you can get pots, mounds. These tree fern mounds are amazing. And she sells them at $15 each. They are expensive because there is a, I think there's a control on collecting these out in nature. And they do take a long time to develop. Oh, these are so pretty. But I wish I, oh, I could make a hole on it. And for bonsai pots. Oh. Oh, damn, where are you getting these? <gasps> this is what? Now, I know that ain't $2.85. That's probably $285. <laughs> because that's a really nice piece of wood. This is like a weathered beech wood. Really nice. These are great, too. And, of course, more orchids. Now I am going kind of fast because a lot of these are not in bloom, so I don't think you guys care to see all the just the spikes. Bromeliads. Here she keeps her ferns and all her epidendrums. Look how pretty these epidendrums are. The richness of that color is amazing. Really, really nice. Everything looks so healthy. I just love the tunnel view. 
of just endless orchids. <laughs> so I guess she's carrying some of uh, Qinghua orchids. She was telling me in the beginning, if you guys heard, she's good friends with Qinghua and Wilson, who are two of my top favorite international growers. I do buy a lot from them when um, when I see them at the show. I buy, try to buy a couple of fowls and things and they all do great. I'm loving these. These are called Shanfaboon Sunrise. Let me see if I find the tag here. Dendrobium Shanfaboon. Sorry, I call it Shanfaboon, but it's Shanfaboon Sunrise. It's easier if you look at the tag, Nelson. <laughs> But then I want to learn these names. So, so nice. I may I may take one of these. I don't think I have one of these. Because I know uh, D, a T from Florida Orchid House gave me one, but it's not that one. Look at these, how cute. It's just such a unique dendrobium. These are 55 this is a, uh, species. Secundum, sorry. Secundum. It's the one that Blanca calls a pon pon. I love these purpuratas. How much are these going for? They're usually pricey, you know, 40 bucks. It's not bad. And look, cranberry and jellers. Another one I may want to take home with me. So pretty. And this, this is just to die for. I mean, so gorgeous. looking at all these pictures see if there's anything in bloom like this little zygopetalum all right guys i think we covered it pretty much let's go back all right guys that is it that is the end of this episode of the vendors i hope you enjoyed it it was really really a sight to see there were so many beautiful things i had a great time with my friends in there getting all that valid information it is to me that was the highlight because the vendors they have so much information sometimes you got to extract it out of them because they're so used to what they do that they don't realize that certain things are very valid to us so i try to extract some of that information so i hope i gave you enough stuff for you guys to be going crazy on doing projects, shopping, and putting things together at home like I'm going to be when I go back. So I hope to see you guys in the next shows. I saw a lot of you out there. You gave me beautiful birthday wishes. I highly, highly appreciate all those wishes and those blessings. And let's see what else. I want to make sure I don't forget anybody or anything <laughs> because there was so much happening uh, this weekend. Um, I can't think of anything. I think I'm done. I like, you like my new shirt? We're all in this together. My little mushroom people, we're all in it together. And I got it because number one, it's green. And number two, we're all in this together. When we work together, we grow bigger. If we try to do it alone, it's gonna take a lot longer and maybe you don't get to grow that big. So let's all come together as one unit and help each other out like we do with this YouTube channel because together we can conquer the world. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, I will see you in my next episode. I am Nelson. You've been watching Nature Now. And remember to always, always keep it green. See you next time.